Well, it, that's, a, that's a good question because when you look at all these different nails that, that we manufacture and market, it could be very confusing, especially for somebody at the beginning. But when it comes down to it, most horseshoes of, of the common sizes, it doesn't matter really which brand, are, are punched for um, one of, of several nails. And, and, and we can start off with what we call the um, five city head nail, which is the most common which is this um, Mustad version, and there's a, 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 another version uh, that Capewell makes. Again, the five city head has always been the, 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 the standard nail um, in, in use in the United States. And in other parts of the world, uh, there are different head styles and, and shank styles. So the five city head head will fit in most shoes. However, where it starts to change is when you try to put shoes on these types of shoes on horses where you want less uh, hoof wall displacement and there are many good options where we have slimmer shanks with a similar type 5 head. So in the Capewell brand you would have the 5 combo which is slim down shank but with a head that will hold the shoe on because the nail has to fit solidly in the shoe and, and that's what we you know that's what the shoes are punched for and so the nail head has to fit solidly in the shoe in order to help hold the shoe on. And um, so a five city head or a five combo. And what determines whether you use one or the other, if you are shoeing thinner walled horses, then your option should be a five slim blade or a five combo or a five light type nail, which displaces left ho less hoof wall. However, if you are shoeing thick walled, hard hooved horses, that nail may be too slim to drive into that type of foot. So you, again, you want to stick with the five city head um, because you need that strength of shaft in order to penetrate that wall without bending the nail. So a lot will determine uh, which nail you use depending on the kinds of shoes, the kinds of horses, and the geographical region you're in.